Hi guys and welcome to episode number 10 of Tuna's Trials, Tuna's Travels even, around the world in 80 plus cups. I'm Lowcase Tuna and first of all I just want to say thank you so much for the support on this series so far. So I am recording a week in advance, so this is coming out after the first week of videos, but the views that I've had on this series are more than I've ever had across the three channels that I work on. Uh, all of which you can find down below in the description. And I say thank you so much for everyone that's stopped by and watched, anyone that's commented, the new subscribers, anyone that's hit that like button. And if you do enjoy this series, please do hit that like button. It helps other people discover me. And it helps me you know, stay so motivated to bring you the content that you are enjoying. Subscribe is the best way to see my videos straight away. Uh, obviously ring the bell so you get to know when they first come out. It is currently 1am uh, that I'm recording this. And you know, busy day at work. I come home and see the support from you guys. And it really, really does, you know, make me feel incredible. So thank you very much. I do this just as much for you as I do for the fact that I am enjoying this save. And enjoying this save, I really am. Last time out, we was here for Myola Park and Newington Youth. We then played Immaculata in the Steel and Suns Cup fourth round. A 4-2 victory there. Jake Moore before a Tommy Elder hat-trick. Sees us through to the quarterfinals in that. But before the quarterfinals, we played Armagh. And, well, we lost 3-1. Having been a goal ahead. Another one of those games. We just couldn't get going after taking a lead. We just stopped. And again against our mark, and it's so frustrating. But then we hit a fantastic run of form after. Crusaders Reserves, who you may remember is a team that I said I follow, Crusaders. We played the reserve team in the quarterfinals. 2-0 victory, Ferguson getting his second goal in two games before Wilson scoring. We then played then top of the table, Limvadi United. And holy crap. 7-1 victors. They had a man sent off after 8 minutes. Ferguson scored 2 penalties. Wilson scored. McCavitt scored 2. McAfee and more. Before McCullum pulled 1 back late on for them. But 7-1 over the top of the table. Shows that we are looking to, you know, battle this year and really be up there. We then played Connor in the Intermediate Cup first round. 5-3 in that one. Uh, Elder, two from McCavitt, one from Anderson, and another one from Ferguson. He's in some incredible scoring form at the moment. Uh, two from Higgins, and an own goal from Mudoon in that one. Made it 5 3, but another victory puts us through. We then played Banbridge Town in the league, back to winning ways 4 0. Two from McCavitt, two from Tamalti. Of course, that guy's scoring whenever he plays. We then played the semi final. Of uh, the Steel and Suns Cup against Coa United, who are the league below us, and it took us extra time before beating them 5 3. Two from Elder and one from Whittle put us ahead 2 0 up. They put it back to 2 all. Elder put us in the lead, but Douglas's hat trick leveled it up, and then two from Kyle Woods in extra time puts us through to the final. Of the Steel and Suns Cup, which comes next month against Newington Youth. Obviously, we're looking to retain that trophy. Glenavon Reserves came. Well, we actually visited them, but you know, played them. 2 0 victory. McCavitt and Ferguson penalty yet again in the Irish Intermediate Cup second round. Before a 3 2 defeat to Tobermore United. They went 2 0 up, Whiteside and Devine. But McCavitt and Woods leveled us up, and a 94th minute winner from Weir. Gave us a defeat. Today we're playing Belfast Celtic and Tully Vallon in the Irish Cup. This is the league as it stands. We are four points off Limavady who are top. Despite that 7-1 victory we're still four points behind them. Two off Anna. And this will put us halfway through the season as well. This game obviously just the 22 games in this league. This is the team we're going with. Muldoon, Henry, Ferguson, Con, Marig. McAfee, Wilson, McElroy, Anderson is back. McAvitt and Elder up front with Tumulty, Edgar, McAllister, Woods and Whittle on the bench. So a lot of firepower up front with Woods and Tumulty. And you know, hopefully they can come in if needs be 
Two changes from the last game, Ferguson and Conn coming from Connery and Whittle. Opposition instructions set for Murray. Yeah, again, mixed reactions to the tactics, but that is fine. Uh, as people have been pointing out in the comment, that there's always going to be people that are relatively unhappy. And let's go and jump straight into this game. Let's go pump some first time to show me what they could do. Elder McElroy. Motivator, that is exactly what we want to see before this game. So kickoff time, what can we do here? Way at Belfast Celtic, who are a slight rival of ours. So you know, hopefully we can go and show them up, ideally. Here we are in the Clash of Kits yet again. Nice green stands as Marag knocks one forward, Ramsey clears out. Mulligan into Matthiason. Anderson wins it though. Back for Wilson. Over the top for McCavitt, who's in, takes it down on his chest and knocks it past the keeper for his 12th goal of the season. Stephen McCavitt gives us the lead after five minutes. And this is what we want. This is how we start the episode off. This is lovely. And it was a great ball from Wilson. Lovely take from McCavitt off his chest. Little touch to set the ball and just slides it past the keeper into the bottom corner. We're going to see the offside and well that is tight obviously. Very very tight. But if you remember that last episode we had a goal ruled out that should not have been ruled out. Very very frustrating in that one. Going now for them. Davison to Matthiason. Matthewson, is that how you pronounce it? Who who knows? Ball comes into Murray. Jonathan Murray levels it up. It's a fantastic cross from Davison. And it was really tapping for Murray, and that is incredibly annoying. We peg back. And you know, be so open there. I mean, defence probably should have dropped a little bit deeper. Is it a fantastic ball. I'm going to take nothing away from that at all. The the cross in really made it. McElroy goes forward for McCavick. Keeper's going to get there first. Knocks it downfield. Con wins the header. Up for McCavick. It was in yet again and should have scored. He was offside anyway so it wouldn't have counted. But a decent move. I mean, they've scored with their only shot on target so far. Anderson's free kick to the back post. And Wilson has hit the post. There's a scramble. And the keeper finally picks up the loose ball. And we should really be winning. Especially after a chance like that. Henry to McElroy. Back to Marag. Con. McElroy. Can we move it well? Wilson to McCavitt. We had a man in space here. We still got a man in space, but instead he flicks it to McElroy. Still a man in space. Finally comes out to McAfee. In for Wilson. Can he pull it across to the back post? Anderson. And it's just wide. And I think he sort of hit that into the ground and it looped up. It hit the outside of the post and just went wide. Uh, it was a great chance. We're going to half time one all. And we should be winning this. Let's. I don't know. I certainly tell them the better team. We should be keep doing what we're doing. We'll be fine. Elder and McElroy yet again motivated. But I don't know how long I wait until we make a change up front. Elder isn't really going like he has been. McAfee and Marag aren't playing great. It's a, a slight worry. As we get to an hour and absolutely nothing's happening. If We'll watch this highlight and then we'll make a change. McWilliams knocks downfield for Henry, who intercepts uh, McAfee into McCavitt, who's on the book in, and it's pushed over by the keeper. It's going to be a corner. We are going to make a couple of changes. We're going to change the front two, if it's going to let me. There we go. And Edgar on for Marag. The corner comes to nothing, as I scratch my ear. <laughs> And let's go a bit more attacking. This is something I haven't done too much of this season, really, is, you know, change mentality during the game. We're also going to demand some more. And just nothing is happening in the second half. As I say, that free kick, keeper claims that easily. 
no real reactions to the demand more. Murray wins that ball. No idea what Ferguson was jumping for, but he jumped anyway. As Stewart shoots from long range. Nothing at all doing there, though. Very poor shot. And we're going to go very attacking for the end of this game now. As they have a throw in. Henry heads clear. Is McAfee going to get there? He's not. Mulligan's going to get there first. Knocked forward for Stewart. Into Murray and it goes over and well that was a chance. And let's demand some more again. Five minutes of normal time left plus stoppages. Ball right over for Murray yet again. In one on one with the keeper it's cleared out and I was sure he was offside there but apparently not. Not according to the assistant. And it does look all of them now and maybe it was a mistake to go very attacking but we're going to stick by it. And I don't think we're going to get a victory in this one. We have been perhaps the better team. But time is just ticking away. It is going to go full time. And we're going to fresh some arms and tell them I'm not pleased. Anderson demotivated but the rest are motivated. And that's the game we need to be winning. That's the game we should be winning. It leaves us fourth in the league. Three points off top. But Anna could go. An extra point clear should they win their game in hand. And that's a, a slight, slight worry. We have requested a couple of improvements from the board. Slam the team. Uh, rejecting youth recruitment because we don't have funding. That's fair enough. At the moment we're getting no youth players at all. We don't have a youth intake because we go to facilities. No academy coaching and no youth recruitment at all. See if we can get a senior affiliate though. Uh, extra income, any income but negligible. I think we should increase it. Nope. Still nope. I'm going to try. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep. Okay, I'm not going to threaten to retire. No senior affiliate for us at all. But we're going to be back in just one second for the cup game. Okay, so we're back for game number two in the Peaky Blinder Irish Cup. We're starting this game with a bit of a change squad, really. Tully Vallon, division below us. Two divisions below us, even. Tully Vallon Rangers. So we're going for a more rotated team. So Fleetham plays in goal. Henderson, Connery, Whittle, Edgar. McAllister, Milgren. Judge, Riddle, Woods and more with Tumulty, Wright, Houston, Elder and Marag all on the bench. More of a, a reserve lineup, shall we say. Full 11 changes from that last match. And let's see what these guys can do in the cup. Perhaps a bit risky considering this is one of the cups we need to win. I'm going to tell them to relax and it's not really, you know, relax anyone. They're all still composed, which is fine. I mean, it didn't do any damage, so positive, I suppose. But yeah, let's see what these guys can do in in this game and perhaps, you know, push for a first team place, especially people like Woods, who did so well last season, but has slowly dropped out this season. As we knock it downfield and Wood flicks it on for Moore. Moore gets past his man into the box. And places it past the keeper. Jake Moore for his third goal of the season. Gives us the one goal lead after nine minutes. Going to try and not get too excited. We know how this has gone. Especially this season. We have sort of struggled to hold on to early leads. If we don't go and get another one soon, then maybe history repeating itself, we will soon see. So let's see what we can do. Can we capitalise on this lead? They are playing relatively attacking. I mean, they have got two holding midfielders, but you know, three up top. One in the centre of midfield as Henderson picks up a booking. And not much happening. We do have a throw in though. Henderson goes to McAllister. It's headed clear. Judge knocks it all the way back to Connery, who first time back to Judge. Fires it out to McAllister, running at his man, tries to cross. Back to Migran. McAllister tries again, but blocked yet again. Judge, back to Connery again. 
looks over the top. Woods is in this time. Woods makes it 2 0. And that's a bit more comfortable now. Kyle Woods bags his fifth goal of the season. Gives us a two goal advantage. And I mean, I wonder what he was doing when we went back to Connery. But a couple of touches into their half. Over the top for Woods. Great ball down. And places it past the keeper. Into the far corner. 2 0 to PSNI. And uh, comfortable now against Tully Vallon. Not much happening from them. Whittle picks up a, a caution. Now as we go into half time. Very happy. They're all inspired, motivated. That's what we want to see, definitely. Do you have to keep an eye on these guys? Henderson, Whittle obviously on the booking. I don't really want to get them sent off. Riddle's free kick into Connery. Back post. And apparently was offside. I'm not sure about that one again. There's been a few tight ones this year. And, I mean, it's on side, isn't it, really? There's no way the assistant has seen that with his naked eye. Where's VAR when you need it? I don't want VAR at all. But the ball swept forward. Woods tries to get in there. It's gone back to the keeper. And the keeper has to smash it clear. But they still have the ball. It's looked forward for Whittle. Good header, though. Given straight back to them. Can we press a little bit, you know, sort of win this ball back in their half? Their con. Tackled by McAllister into Woods. That's what we wanted to see. McAllister again. Through ball for Woods into the area. Can he make it free? Can indeed. 3 0. He's second of the season for Kyle Woods. And we're going to take Henderson off for right. He's not playing very well at all. Neither is Judge. So Houston can come on there. And like I say, a couple of changes. I uh, don't want to get play suspended. And people that aren't playing very well are, you know, going to come off. They have to impress. They have to take the chance to impress. And impress they have not here. Tully Vallon left wide open. Quick counter-attack, and perhaps Wood should have bagged his hat-trick there. It is cleared for corner in the end, so chance still there. McAllister's corner. Header clear from Smith. McAllister gets the ball again. Can he fire it in? Plays it to Whittle. Houston. Megoran. Megoran. I think it's Megoran. His name constantly changes again, another one of these players. Plays the ball across, O'Neill clears. Eagle gets there first. Pass Whittle. Good tackle by Whittle though. It's like worrying because Sidney is on the book in. But Edgar wins that tackle as well. And it goes out for a throw in. Edgar knocks it forward. Woods isn't going to get there. Smith into Eagle. Back to Smith. Looks over the top for Eagle. Eagle is in. And he's scored. And I thought that one was offside. But. Maybe, maybe not. They have pulled one back. Eagle grabs hold of the ball. Aims for the halfway line. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, I mean, to me, that looks offside. We'll see. I imagine in this next replay, we will see. Was he? No, we did have a man playing too deep. I believe that's Connery. Playing him on side. They have pulled one back. I'm going to tell them to focus. It's not done very well. It's frustrated them all. I'm going to go cautious as well. I don't want to concede another goal. And you know. It actually become very very tense. Riddle to Houston. Looks over the top for Moore. Tries it first time. And it's saved. And what can we do up top. We're going to take Moore off for Elder. I think that is what we're going to do. No. No we're not. We're going to take more for Tumulty. Old has been playing in the league a fair bit lately. So Tumulty's going to get his chance. Long ball forward. Fleetham. Hopefully takes his time. There's 12 minutes to go. Two goals ahead. Sensible from Fleetham. Instead it's a long ball over the top. And Woods is in. That's a great distribution. And Woods has missed. And Wood should have scored there. That's a massive chance for a hat-trick. 
Let's try and encourage them. Let's see what encouragement does. Riddle. Over the top to Malti this time. Another long ball over the top to Malti's in. And he's blazed it wide as well. And we're missing some massive chances. And it's a good job we've got a couple goal advantage. Because this could be very worrying if it was a lot tighter. We're into stoppage time now. Connery across to Whittle. For Timulti. O'Neill misses it. Timulti keeper comes and just manages to push it wide. Push it wide. Push it wide. I cannot talk tonight. Riddle's corner. Are we going to get a fourth? A late goal. Not like that. Lennon heads clear pretty comfortably. Out to Riddle again. Tries to fire it in and it's a corner again. I have a very itchy ear as you may have noticed. As I'm trying to pretend to focus on the end of this game. It's the joys of being a couple of goals up in the last few seconds. You can stop and scratch your ear pretty comfortably. And there we go. Let's let's have that fourth corner. It's flicked on until Malti gets his eighth of the season. No idea who flicked it on. It doesn't tell you the uh, assistees this time. Riddle into Connery, I believe it was. It was Whittle, actually. Whittle flicked it on until Malti at the back stick to knock it home. 4-1 victors. We go marching on to the next round of the cup. Very good win. They're all confident as well before that. That's exactly what we want to see. And let's see what we can do in this competition. Next episode, what I think I'm going to do is we're going to play a couple of games, come back for the cup final, and then we'll take a break and come back somewhere else for a league game. Probably a little break between them. We'll see what happens in the next game. We'll see who we get in the cup and when that's going to be. Like I said at the start, thank you very much for all your support on these videos. If you have enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, and until the next one, stay safe. I'll see you there.